And we are back on the CS Podcast. I'm your host, Chris Chanfell, and I'm now joined by Chicago Bears defensive end number 91, David Bass. Thanks for joining the show, David. How's it going? It's going good. It's going real good. So let's get right to it, and let's talk about your career as a whole uh, really quickly, and then we'll chat about last night's victory over Green Bay. Uh, David Bass, you attended Missouri Western University, and you redshirted your first year there. Uh, in 2008, right. and after that, you started every single game for the Griffins over the next four seasons, racking up 40 and a half sacks. Uh, I got to ask you, what made you attend Missouri Western State University, and how would you describe your overall experience there? Um, I'd say the simple fact I chose Missouri Western is uh, one, I wasn't um, highly sought athlete coming out of high school. Uh, went to University City, and I had a couple D1 offers, or D1 double A offers, and um, no D1 A offers. Missouri Western came, they offered a full ride. I took a visit there, everybody seemed cool. It was, uh, it was like pretty much what I was looking for in a school. Just the coaches, the players I can trust, I can go to for advice. Uh, it was a real family atmosphere, and that's the feeling I got from that. They was an up-and-coming team. Uh, campus was up and coming, so I feel like the program headed in the right direction. So uh, I went ahead and made the decision to go there. Plus, I had a couple couple guys who I played with that were attending the school, and um, some guys who committed that year with me as well. And and I imagine. Uh, uh, over, uh, what you saying? Uh, sorry, sorry. Go ahead. Oh, I was just gonna say my overall experience that was great. Uh, probably the best best four to five years of my life, just being with the same group of guys. Uh, working, you know, in season, out of season, putting in the work, you know, off season, and then just being around you, you to building that brotherhood to, uh, you know, get the team where we needed to be and finally win a conference championship my senior year. And I mentioned, you know, the 40 and a half sacks. What, what, does, is, is there any one sack that really, you know, sticks out? Uh, one sack. I know there's so uh, many of them, man. Yeah, you just <laughs> want it. When you say that, it's a big number. Of the I can't just pinpoint. Mm-hmm. Well, I see in the seventh round of the 2013 NFL Draft, the Oakland Raiders select David Bass out of Missouri Western University. What was that moment like for you? I got to think it was a dream come true. Uh, most definitely. It's everything I've ever dreamed of. It's what... Uh, you know, all of us play for to be drafted. Hear our name called, play in the NFL one day. And just the competitive nature in most most athletes these days, you want to be the best in what you do. That's why you work as hard. We work as hard as we do just so we can hear our name called on draft day. And uh, they called me, give me that phone call, and just gave me that feeling that, you know, they trust it. They, you know, see that I have what it takes to have the potential to be a Raider and uh, they could bring me into that organization. That was a huge blessing. And I brought that day in with uh, a lot of my family and friends. We all, you know, watched the draft together and uh, celebrated my name was called. And you were able to, uh, you know, you know, uh, go to training camp with the Raiders. You played in the preseason, and you were you were put on waivers and eventually claimed by the Chicago Bears about a week before the regular season began. And you know, since then you have been active. You have played every game since Week Five against the New Orleans Saints. You're able to play in the preseason with Oakland, and now the regular season with Chicago. How different are those two seasons, preseason and regular season? Oh, it's a lot different. Uh, the intensity is different. The, um, the approach, the attention, the detail, everything is different. It's preseason, you got 90 guys on the team and really just trying to give everybody a shot just so you can evaluate, reevaluate, and then finally put, uh, put the 53 guys that you feel give you the best opportunity to win on that final roster. So, uh, the season a little more nonchalant, laid back. And once you get to the regular season, all those mistakes that were allowed uh, that you made and, you know, the whole learning process, that was cool. But now, it's just all business. Chris Schanfeld talking with Chicago Bears defensive end David Bass. And, David, I'm going to point out one play that you made a couple weeks ago against Washington. I believe, you know, the Skins hiked the ball and didn't end around a wide receiver, Aldrich Robinson. And uh, you were there to make a play for a huge 11-yard loss. I got to think that that is the uh, – 
the, the biggest play of your very young NFL career? Yeah, it's uh, the only tackle for loss I have at this point. So uh, I'm glad I was there. I was at the right spot at the right time. <laughs> well, I got to say it was a great play. Uh, I, I got to think there was a, a whole lot of energy that was uh, just put into you after that play. And, you know, let's talk a little bit about last night's game against the Packers. I got to ask you, what was the atmosphere like there in Lambeau Field? Oh, it was phenomenal. I have it. Um, that's why when we tore up, it was a small town. wasn't really a big city, so we was driving out a lot of back roads and side streets. And uh, I was wondering where we is, and all of a sudden you see a huge stadium pop up with bright lights. It was, you know, tailgaters, fans, everywhere. I never seen a, a group of fans that was, I guess, as involved in tailgating as the Green Bay Packers fans was. Uh, it was just everywhere. It seemed like everybody outside the stadium had their own section all set up, and it was all together. Then at game time, everybody came in into the stadium. So uh, just experiencing that, seeing the different uh, costumes, seeing the different RV trailers customized, um, different grills and different you know setups, people had, that was phenomenal. And once I got into the stadium, I knew it was legendary, so you know, I look forward to getting in there. It was, it was great. It was live. The fans were loud. Um, we had a lot of fans that was loud. So it's plays where, you know, we would make a big play and the stadium would be just as loud for us. So that was huge. So it really wasn't a, a, a legitimate home field advantage for just the Packers. We had a home field advantage too as well. So, you know, that was cool. Chicago Bears, Green Bay Packers, the most storied rivalry in the history of the NFL. You're a rookie, so this is your first time being a part of this rivalry. Did this game feel any different than the past, you know, seven games that you were a part of? Uh, no, it felt pretty much the same. Um, I haven't played. I was, this is my fourth game, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, it seemed like every Sunday, Monday or Thursday, teams come out. And get what they are. It's always going to be a battle. It's always going to be a dog fight. So I don't, you know, certain games that people get up for, I don't think it's to that extent these days because everybody wants to win. Everybody's going to treat each team as if it was a rivalry game. And uh, that's how we approach things. So I didn't, I didn't notice a difference. Chris Sheffield talking with Bears defensive end David Bass and David obviously entering this game both teams had key injuries Bears you know you guys were without Cutler, Briggs, Melton, Collins I mean I can go on and on uh, with that list and the Packers they were missing Clay Matthews, Jermichael Finley, Randall Cobb and yet the, pa the, the Packers were 11 point favorites in this game uh, do you guys as players pay attention to any of that mess or you know uh, you know whether or not you guys are favorites or, or not do you guys pay attention to the, any of that? Uh, not too much. I mean, we did. In the back of our heads, we knew where we were the underdog, and uh, we felt disrespected by that, that, you know, nobody was really giving us a chance. But as far as how many points they were favored, we were favored, and things like that, I couldn't change. I never, I never heard that, and, you know, don't pay too much attention to it. So we really just go into it, uh, you know, each week as faces opponent. Want to learn to execute and give a hundred percent effort and let the scoreboard, you know, side the game at the end. Uh, I got to say, the defensive line looks pretty good last night. Uh, how were you guys able to get so much pressure on the quarterback last night after struggling to do so all season long? Um, I, lately, we've been, we've been um, paying close attention to detail. Uh, Angular departure coming off the line, getting to the quarterback the fastest way possible. Uh, work a lot of hands, get offs, counter moves, things of that nature. But, uh, with our coach, uh, Fair and coach, coach Sinclair, uh, huge with the hands, get offs, counter moves, and things like that. So I think, uh, it was coming all along. Like you said, we was, uh, we hadn't been real productive in that area early in the season. But it's something we work on, something that, um, we want to get better week by week. Like even last night, we we see corrections that need to be made and plays that we were, were left out there that we can come back and try to focus on our next game or next opportunity we get in practice. So, um, I just think come with effort and just you know continue trying to get better each week. 
Absolutely, and there's still plenty of time to get better. And last question for you, and that is, were you surprised at all with your backup quarterback, Josh McCown's performance last night against the Green Bay Packers' tough defense? Uh, I mean, you guys as a team played well last night, but I don't think anybody expected your backup quarterback to play as well as McCown has, and that goes for the Washington game as well. So, uh, uh, again, i got to ask you, are you surprised at all with the performance of Josh McCown lately? I wasn't surprised. I'm, um, after I seen him play Washington, he came in, he kept his poise, he was uh, very interactive with the players. Uh, he showed that leadership, he was uh, vocal, and his, his posture throughout the whole game, when he came in Washington game, it, was, it felt as if you know we wasn't going to miss a beat. So, you know, I had faith that Washington practice, he did his thing in practice, and if he's on, you know, this three active man roster, you know, he's he's going to be pretty good. Mm -hmm. So uh, he came in this game with the same leadership skills that he uh, he showed the second half of Washington game, and he just put it through a whole game, and uh, he played phenomenal. Well, you, you certainly got that right. You guys played a great game last night. Congratulations on that huge win over the Green Bay Packers. And uh, best of luck to you against Detroit this week, David. I really appreciate it. Hope we keep in touch. Oh, uh, most definitely. Thank you.